Now we're getting an update on the DOT's plan to repair a pair of East Providence bridges. Both the East Shore Expressway and McCormick Quarry bridges are structurally deficient. So the state is once again using accelerated construction techniques to install the new versions just in a few days. Eyewitness News reporter Julianne Pixoto is here now with the new details. A new method is helping crews reconstruct bridges faster than ever before. The McCormick Quarry Bridge is getting a much needed facelift. It's been deficient for 20 years. It's been held up by those wooden logs for 10 years. It is more than time to take care of this. It's one of two sites that's part of Rhode Island's new accelerated bridge reconstruction project. They build the bridge on the side and then over a period of a few days, swap it in place. Rydot says this new method doesn't cost more money, but it's much more efficient. In the old way of doing it, we would have had a detour here for a year, and now people have a detour for a few days. This project is on time, on budget, and we expect it to be completed a year before uh, it would normally be completed using conventional techniques. Also new, signs like this one will be placed on bridges across the state so the public can see how much money the projects cost and when they'll be completed. The actual construction that we'll be putting out this year is $140 million in bridges like this one because of the Roadworks initiative. And the investment is necessary. Federal Highway Administration data from 2014 ranked Rhode Island last out of all 50 states for structurally deficient bridges. We're going to do proper maintenance. We're going to do project management so we never again have bridges get to be this bad. Officials say 600 of the state's 750 bridges will be repaired or rebuilt in the next 10 years. In East Providence, Julianne Pixoto, Eyewitness News.